Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at auto update audio devices in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, everyone has different things connected to their computer, a laptop or desktop, different microphones, USB microphones, uh, earbuds, Bluetooth devices, speakers, USB, what have you. And Premiere Pro now has a feature um, in Windows and had this on the Mac, but we finally have that in Windows where you just leave it on the default system settings and it will change depending on what it automatically detects when you plug something in. It's uh, it's already on by default on this and the idea is if you unplug or plug something in, that thing will be detected. If your operating system enables that as the main device, then Premiere Pro will follow suit and you can turn this off uh, whether you want or not, and it's independent of input and output. So I'll show you where this is. In the edit menu, preferences, audio hardware. Now you, you might not see all of these same settings depending on your Windows, Windows or Mac. You might see ASIO here or not on Windows. I'm just on standard MME. When I plug this into my Thunderbolt dock on, on my main system and power two uh, 4K monitors, then I get different options there because the audio is also connected through that uh, uh, Thunderbolt connection. All right, so now we've got default as one of the options. In the past, you had to pick, and when you plug something in, it didn't detect it. So right now it's just a regular microphone or you could flip it to no input and Premiere Pro would follow suit. By the way, one weird thing that, that some people have found um, it, with stuttering uh, laptops is if you turn the microphone off, the stuttering goes away. I've never seen this, but some people are saying it solves the problem with, with low powered computers. Okay, and then if, same thing with output. It's a system default. Right now I'm plugged in through the speakers, headphones, and I, I actually have a, uh, a headphone jack out into my Ninja V that I record the audio on. And we'll leave those as is. When I click OK and I play, it's going to play. In my system devices, now I'm running Windows 11, Windows 10 it would be the same in your system uh, preferences for sound. On the Mac, of course, it's in your system preferences. Uh, but here, I, I've, that's my speakers. That's where that's set up. And then the input is set for that microphone. So whatever I have set up in here is going to be mirrored because I have default settings. So um, I've just got a, a Logitech uh, webcam plugged in so uh, here, but I'm going to plug it in and let's see if it shows up, at least in, in the uh, input section. All right. Give it a second for it to uh, wake up. Let's go back into my edit settings, preferences, audio hardware. And you can see it's showing up there. I get a warning, maximum sample rate of the since input is too low, choose another device. If we go back to system, so that's the new uh, webcam audio input. So right now it's, it's set at 16-bit, two channels, and that's probably what Premiere Pro is warning me about is that I'm, I'm this is 16-bit and I'm using 32-bit inside Premiere Pro. If we go back to this, and choose the built-in microphone, and now it's using the built-in microphone. Uh, so it auto-detected when I plugged in my webcam. It also auto-detected when 
I went back to the operating system and changed it, which you could override. But the idea here is that there's less mistakes being made of what you happen to have input because when you change and plug something in, you don't hear it or you don't uh, see the input from the, the uh, USB microphone, for instance, you usually have to go all the way in here and make a change. But uh, operating systems, both Mac and Windows, they tend to be pretty smart that way. If you just plug something in, <laughs> they figure, well, you probably want to use that. Why don't we switch to that? And uh, on the Windows side, Premiere Pro didn't do that. I always had to, when I moved my laptop, I had to come in here and make a change. So now it's an automatic setting. So this is one of those things, hopefully you don't know and don't care that it's in there because it's now just doing the right thing and automatically updating depending on what it detects, what you plug in or unplug. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, uh, take a moment and subscribe. Uh, we've got lots of great tutorials here, more to come. If you want to support us some more, you can do that through our website, videorevealed.com slash shop, where you can donate once, monthly, any amount. We love our wonderful donors. You really keep us going here on Video Revealed. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to show you the changes that you may not <laughs> even notice that are there, but when you do have problems in the future, you'll remember, hey, Colin told me that this is supposed to auto uh, update. So at least you'll know where to go to fix things.